Hi guys, this is going to be a continuation of the last video. So the last video we were talking about getting this first part of the swing right to here. And now we're going to have a look at how we get into the correct top of the backswing position from there. So once we're in this position here, at this point I've really still got my, my left shoulder more or less on the wall with my hip here. I've got the club parallel to the ground. And really my thought from here is to make sure that my, my left leg and my left hip are going to stay on the wall as I swing the club up with my arms. So I'm trying to keep my left hip, left thigh on the wall. I'm trying to lift my club up this way. And my thought is always to try and keep my shaft away from my right shoulder here. So that gives me the, the coil in the, in the left side of the body. So by keeping the lower body on the wall and keeping the shaft away from the left shoulder as I go up, I create some coil in the, in the left side of the body here. Now you can see as I go up, my left shoulder starts to work away from the wall and it starts to work down slightly as well. I'm staying in my posture uh, that's why the shoulder's working down. And it, the left shoulder just can't stay on the wall the whole time. So we don't want to just be swinging just like this. We're not going to create any power that way. So really important is, although we want to be consistent and make good contact with the ball and, and have good, good accuracy, we've also got to be able to hit the ball far enough. So we've got to get that coil in the body as we go up to the top. And so we should be feeling it in here. So as long as I can keep that shaft away from my shoulder, keep my left hip on the wall, I'm sort of in that, in that throwing position. Okay, left shoulder's working, coming off the wall and working down. That's me at the top of the backswing position. So I've still got my, the shape in the right side of my body there. And I'm really in position to, to accelerate the swing from there. So from the back, okay, I've got myself into this position. I'm keeping that left hip on the wall. So from the back angle, I want to make sure I'm staying over this way. I'm not going up as I, as I go back. I actually feel like I'm actually going slightly down as I go back. So I'm pushing into the ground. So I'm creating a bit more pressure into the ground as the club's going up. So I always think the club's going up and I'm pushing slightly down. It's like someone was pushing on my shoulders as I swing the club up. So I want to get the club up in this position here. So a nice neutral club face. We don't, obviously don't want the club to be across the line this way or too late off this way. We want it to be sitting in this position. So now I'm in position where I can, I can drop the club on the downswing and come at the ball from the inside. So another important thing I think when we're, when we're going up, we still need to get some change here in the lower body. You can see on my left knee's working out, the right leg working back. So although I start fairly parallel with my knees and feet, as I get to the top, you can see there's a definite change in here. And that really creates a lot of room for my, for my arms and club to drop on the way down. <clears throat> so it also helps me on the downswing from not turning too early. So if I get too blocked in the lower body going back, so if I start, for example, with the right foot too straight, and I try and just do it with the upper body and don't get any lower body, I'll get in this position. I'll tend to lift up with the body and get no change, change in the lower body here. Okay, so that really doesn't give me any room to drop down so any sort of turning, you can see now I've got no room here for the arms to drop in front of the, the right leg and hip. So we always want to make sure when we sit up, we've got that right foot out, turned out slightly. And then when we go up to the top, okay, I'm working the club up, keeping the shaft away from the shoulder. Left shoulder's working off the wall and I'm staying in, over in my posture. And you can see the left knee is working out in front of the, the right now. That creates all the room I need to be able to drop the club on the, on the way down. So I really think there's two or three things we really need to think about from this position here. One, we wanna keep the shaft away from the shoulder. That creates the coil in the body. By getting too, too much in the wrist here and too narrow this way, you'll find it hard to get the coil in here. And we definitely don't want this lower body to be coming off the wall. So we're not trying to transfer the lower body weight this way. We're really just letting the body go around its center. Okay, so you can see my, my upper body or the left shoulder will work away from the wall. So my, my, my shoulders are going to turn more than my hips on the backswing. And that's why the shoulder is going to come off the wall. But my left hip, I always want to keep that on the wall. That helps me maintain my angle this way or my shape of the body. So I don't have to correct that on the downswing. So I've got my shape right. I've got my overness. I've got my change in the lower body. So now, I can, now I'm in a position where I can just bump forward and drop the club down into the slot on the way down.